what I, I typically do in a tournament round is I'll pace my chips for one thing. I'll, like for this, this example, I've already paced this chip and I've got a 24 yard pitch here. And based upon my practice, I've come to learn that with my 60 degree wedge, I tend to fly the ball two thirds of the way and release the ball a third of the way. So what I like to do is after I've paced the chip, I'll pick a spot that's two thirds of the way there. And that's, where that's my point of focus. Rather than having it all the way at the hole, I seem to be more effective by picking a spot there and then trying to land the ball there. Very consistent. Should we walk out there with the basket? We'll go ahead and do that. Yep. There? So I'll go out to 24. Okay. I won't throw you counting off. 18, rather. <laughs> So this is probably the area where I'd like to land the chip. Okay. Now you do have to take into account, this is a little downhill, so I'm gonna have to adjust a yard or two the other direction, okay. or if it's uphill, the other way. But basically this is the area I'll try to land this shot. So I'll put my little practice tool here. And you've got a little slope, so obviously you're, you're gonna go from left right, to right. Right, So now you're gonna try and land it with your 60 right and there what, on the basket. And what this has helped me do is it changes my point of focus from all the way to the hole to just a particular spot. You know, I know if I can land my pitch around that area, it'll be a pretty good shot. So I'm going to try to land it a little short of the basket just because it's a little downhill. A little short of it. And then it rolled it down there. I've always felt like that the better chippers roll the ball more than they fly the ball. I mean, there's obviously times you have to loft it very mm -hmm. high, but um, that rolling ball seems to be a lot more effective.